me first of all say I'm very happy to be here. Um, and I'm very impressed with, with the school. You're very fortunate to be able to be going to school here. And uh, I wish you the, the best in where you're going from here. Uh, I went to, uh, I know that now I went to college, I got in engineering. I also got a master's in engineering. I got my PhD in political science. I liked school. Uh, but I, I really love, love learning. And so whatever you want to do, it's important that uh, I think you, you at least have the opportunity to go to college and take it, take it seriously because these days with the way jobs are, it's, it's very important uh, for you to do that. But uh, you, you, you're, nothing's more important, I think, than getting a really good start in, in high school. Uh, what do you like about government the most? Uh, what I like about government the most is being able to help people. I mean, I, I think that's sort of the way I grew up. My father was in Congress before I was. Uh, my, my father was in Congress for 22 years before he retired and I ran for a seat, but he was an alderman in the city of Chicago uh, for seven years before that. And I always grew up believing that the purpose of being involved in, in government is to try to do things to make people's lives better and to, to help them out. And it's the most rewarding part for me is people who come up to me and thank me for not only a vote that I may have cast that they liked, but helping them out personally on an issue that, uh, that they had with the federal government I was able to help, help out on. So that, that's what I like most about doing what, uh, what I do. And it's certainly something you, I know you hear about and maybe have experienced with your family in trying to figure out what do we do to get help with job creation. Uh, the numbers in the last couple of months have looked much better. Uh, looks like things are getting better in our country, but we have concerns about uh, long, people who've been unemployed for a long term and getting getting back into jobs. And then, what could happen in other places in the world that could impact uh, the economy here? The uh, uh, Greece possibly defaulting, uh, the Greek government not being able to uh, to pay its bills. So problems all over Europe with with that question about what's going to happen with, with Iran building a nuclear weapon. There are a lot of issues that could have an impact on our, our economy. Uh, but focusing on trying to make the best policies in Washington to help with job creation here is the, is the biggest item. The second one is the uh, what are we going to do to get the, the debt reined in. That is, we're paying out a lot more, the government is, than they're getting back in uh, getting in taxes, how are, we gonna, how are we gonna fix that issue? And that's a very difficult issue, especially in the, in the long term. Uh, so uh, let me ask you, how many of you believe Social Security, because I used to ask this to my students when I taught college 10 years ago, uh, how many of you believe that Social Security will be there for you when you get to that age? I see head shaking, no. That was always what my students always felt. We're trying to, do what we can so that Social Security is still there. And when you get to that age that you have that, make sure that you can know that you have that you know, cushion there, that you will be able to have uh, the money that you need to live after, after you retire. OK, any uh, some question. questions? Yes, sir. What's a typical day like for you, being a congressman? Uh, a typical day is the hardest question for me to possibly answer because it depends so much. When I'm here, well, first of all, I'm, we're usually in session in Washington four days a week. So I'm usually there for, th for three nights, either Monday through Thursday or Tuesday through Friday. We're, we're in session in Washington. We're voting. Uh, then I, on the weekends, almost every weekend, I, I'm, I come home. So, so I'm here in the uh, Chicago area. So a typical day when I'm in Washington is people will come in to meet me, uh, people who have, who have issues or something they're interested in, some policy, uh, they want to talk to me about it. Uh, we have committee meetings. I'm on the Transportation Committee. I'm on the Science Committee. So we have committee meetings. We have hearings where we have experts come in and give their testimony to talk about legislation and what they would like to see done with legislation. We have committee markups where we take a piece of legislation that's been introduced and we amend it. Then there's a time we spend on the House floor uh, debating bills 
and, also, and then voting on them. Uh, so that's basically that, that's what we do. But the schedule, we never know what the schedule is going to be uh, for, for voting on, on, on the House floor. Uh, and things every day is very different because some days we have committee meetings, some days we don't. So when I'm home, I, I go around, spend a lot of time going around visiting uh, different people, different, different places. Um, so from here, I'm heading to a meeting at the, uh, with the president of the Polish National Alliance. Um, waiver program uh, from people trying to come to visit from, from Poland. Uh, but there's a lot, a lot of different things, a lot of different people who I, I usually move, I'm moving around, not in my office here, but moving around visiting with people. And maybe a last question, Congressman. What's your advice for individuals maybe in this group who envision to be in politics and who aspire to be politicians in the, in the future? What's your advice that they could do from now? If you're interested in being involved in, in, in politics, whether you want to run for office or somehow help someone who's running for office and be involved, is first of all, the most important thing, uh, leadership is, is something very important. Learn how to work with people. Because that is so much of what it means and what it takes to, if you want, want to run for office, is to be able to sit down with people who you, know, you, you may agree, you may not agree, Whatever organization you, you want to want to work in, you're trying to uh, advance the goals of whatever that organization is, and you want to be able to, if it's a volunteer group, uh, figure out what you want to do and how, and how you're going to do that. I think that's the, the most important thing to do. If you go off to college, if you want to be involved in the student government in college, I, I was for two years. I was a representative for the uh, student government when I went to. to uh, to Northwestern, and, and that gave me the opportunity again to uh, look at issues on the campus and what student government wanted to do. Uh, we also had control over a budget for student groups, and that all helps to see if you really like to do that in, in the first place and be involved in trying to trying to make things happen. And it teaches you how to work with people and how to be a leader and to step forward and try to, to lead and come up with, with solutions and rally people together to, uh, to get something done, to, to accomplish something. So that, that's what I think is probably the best for you to do if, if, that's, if you're interested in that.